Hi, I'm Chris Spiegel, and today I want to talk to you about a tool called Better Touch Tool. The Better Touch Tool is a tool which, by the name, you don't really know what is going on. But let me show you the website, and maybe it becomes a little bit clearer. The Better Touch Tool is a tool for the Mac that you can use with your mouse, trackpad, keyboard, or external um, devices like the um, iPhone and also Siri input. And it basically does things for you, which you can set up. And I personally use one function of it, which is the Better Touch Tool keyboard shortcuts to position windows. And I know there could be done so much more with it, but window positioning is the one thing I use it for. And that's what I want to show you today. This tool is not free, like as a prefix, it's not free, but the maker of the tool made the pricing a little bit of an optional thing. They recommend $8.99 for it, but you can go as low as $4.99 and as high as $50 for this tool. So you can basically decide for yourself how much you want to pay for it. The thing also is you can download a free trial, which is incredible because it is 45 days of free trial usage. And the thing I have noticed is that if I uh, give people this tool or like let them try it and set up the shortcuts, they almost always go and buy this tool because, well, basically because they don't want to lose their shortcuts and they don't like they got so used to those shortcuts though they have to buy the tool. So let's show you what the tool can do because the tool itself it's not really pretty but that doesn't really have to be because you normally you use it once in the beginning set up the shortcuts and then you're good to go. So this is the tool itself. Um, you can do a lot of things with like the magic mouse trackpad and uh, drawings and stuff but I as I mentioned I use the keyboard shortcuts and I use them for window positioning which this thing can do very well. You can also use the snapping areas because better snap better touch tool actually was better snap tool in the beginning and they just merged those two together uh, to be the better touch tool and that way you can do much much more with it. So for example, if you prefer window snapping, where you move your window around and then you have it snapped to a certain place, then you can go into the basic settings here. So you can enable those and then you move it around and yet you have those snapping areas and then you have windows snapped to those areas. If you want to see that with a normal window, you could go to the lower left uh, to the lower right of obviously and then it snaps to the upper right it snaps and then also to the full screen it snaps if you prefer your mouse to be the one doing those tasks then you can have that with the snapping i personally hate snapping i disabled it i have gestures however uh, which is in this case keyboard shortcuts and not really gestures but I have them set up like this and you can set them up the same way you can set them up differently I personally like them this way they have basically the left hand side is control alt and option and shift so that is that and then I have the arrow keys which basically means what is going to happen and the first one I have there is alt and command and then the left and right arrow key which basically makes the window oh it's control alt and the left and right so basically it jumps around left and right if i press the left button uh, left arrow key or the right arrow key if i have the same thing but press the up arrow uh, then it makes it full screen so i can go left right up and it's full screen this is very useful because then I can have, for example, my browser to the right side and then I have my editor to the left side and then I can write about something. So I can have two things at the same time. Also, I have set up a little bit more to have lower left, lower right, and I have lower uh, upper left and upper right. Those are set up with the shift key or the command key here in addition and that's like left and right and that is like the command version is up downstairs basically and then I have the shift which basically means upstairs so going up. So those are the um, keys I have set up. I also have these two set up which make windows move to different screens and other than that I have another one which makes windows in a way of a um, centric but it not like sometimes it doesn't work so most of the time I use left and right and full screen this is like my go-to stuff
as mentioned before you can also have the snapping enabled you can also change the speed of your trackpad which is super intense uh, i personally think speed of trackpad is one of the one productivity hacks ever just changing that to the most that is available on your computer speeds up your mouse and that way you have to move less and less with the mouse which makes you in the end more productive and your hands like don't ache as much Keyboard shortcuts in general, I think they are super valuable. Everybody should learn as many of them as possible, at least if you work a lot with your computer. This is something I think is super important because it makes you faster and also the switching between keyboard and trackpad or mouse is not as uh, much. So if you want to know more keyboard shortcuts, just Google the application you just use and then keyboard shortcuts. This will show you a little bit of a interesting new ideas how you can use those shortcuts and make your life more productive and maybe also more fun. This is Better Touch tool. As mentioned before, it's like not it's not free, but you have to decide for yourself if you want to pay 4.99 or more. Uh, try it out 45 days. You can have like so much fun with it. You can do all the things. You can try everything there is. If you actually want to buy it in the end, well, you have those options. Please leave a comment down below if you found this useful. Also, leave a comment if you know of any other tools, maybe something that does the same thing but is cheaper or maybe even free. Maybe you have any ideas about other tools that could help me improve my workflow and also maybe I will share those in the future. Also, like this video if it was helpful for you and subscribe to this channel if you want to be part of the next 30 days because I'm going to share more and more of those tools and techniques so you can improve your lifestyle and your productivity. So, cheers for watching and see you in the next one.